eating regular meals, even eating, uh, even eating well, activate the body stress response. And the less time you spend in stress response activation, the healthier you're going to be. If I had to tell you one thing to do to restore yourself back to health, to maintain your health and wellness, to increase your longevity and your quality of life, it would be to spend as much time as you possibly can in rest and relaxation and telling the body that everything is okay. Deep breathing is one of the best strategies for telling the body everything is okay. Eating less food, more nutrients, less calories, a great strategy for telling the body that everything is okay. Using nutritional supplements and especially using substances like melatonin are wonderful Wonderful, inexpensive strategies for telling the body that everything is safe and okay and restoring the body back to health and wellness and turning on the growth and regenerating systems of the body, the growth and regenerating chemistry. Telling the body everything is safe and okay through deep breathing, through relaxation techniques, through supplements like melatonin, through eating less processed food, through eating, through eating less food in general, and certainly getting on a good nutritional supplement program like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and all the supplements that we talk about here on the Bright Side are important and key components of rest and relaxation and anti-aging biochemistry. Okay, our number 866, uh, 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261. One time to take our first phone call of the day. Let's go off to Michigan and welcome Pam to the Bright Side. What is going on, Pam? Good morning. Hi, Ben. Thank you for taking my call. Great show. I love listening to you. Thank you. What's up? Uh, Well, I was calling for my sister, but then after listening to your show, I had another question. So I do have two questions. Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay, uh, First of all, my sister, she's um, type 1 diabetic. Okay. Insulin dependent. Okay. Um, she's been on thyroid medication since she's been 18, and she's okay. sick now. Um, recently, she had an EKG, uh, just a regular exam, and then they had the EKG, and they said her heart is enlarged. Okay. So, um, you know, she's worried about that. And um, okay, well, you want to hang tight there. You want to address that right now. Okay. Okay. Now, first of all, did she have? She was diagnosed as a diabetic when she was a little girl. I take it. Uh, 20 years. So about so 20 how, years now. 20 years ago. How old is she now? 57. Oh, okay. So she, she was diagnosed with the autoimmune disease when she was uh, 37. And she had her thyroid uh, diagnosis. She was hypothyroid, diagnosed as hypothyroid when she was 18, correct? Correct, right, yes. Okay. So this is a gal who's been breaking down a long time. And keep in mind, by the, th- the thyroid does not just break down on its own. By the time the thyroid breaks down, uh, you're dealing, you've been dealing with blood sugar issues and digestive issues for years, in your sister's case, possibly for 10 or 15 years before that occurred. So there's she a few... appendix out when she was like... You know, there you go. Years old. There you go. The appendix, by the way, the appendix is a major, major digestive organ. Major. It's a warehouse for probiotics. Without an appendix, you're at serious risk for digestive issues. So this is a gal who, who unfortunately was corrupted by the medical model at the age of six. They removed her appendix. By the time she's 18, her thyroid is, is now uh, uh, breaking down. She's hypothyroid. By the time she's 37, she's got type 1 diabetes. Now she's dealing with an enlarged heart. Another medical success story. Congratulations, doctors. Are you really proud of your work? Are you really proud of your handiwork? This is what's happening to us people. This is what's happening when we interface with the doctor. This is why I say you don't want to go anywhere near a doctor. You don't want to go anywhere near the medical model unless you have absolutely no option, unless you need to be stitched up because you got hit by a bus. Excuse me for getting upset there. I'm sorry about that. Okay, right. Anyway, Pam. Right. All right, so we got the water. We got to do, you know, we got to deal with a, a gal who's been disfigured basically without an appendix. Now she's got an autoimmune disease and she's dealing with cardiovascular health issues. By the way, the heart enlarges when it's having a hard time pushing blood through. And when it uh, has a hard time pushing blood through the circulatory system, it gets bigger in response to uh, this difficulty that's having pushing blood through, just like any muscle will get bigger when it's working harder. So the fact that she has an enlarged heart is a sign that her, she, she's got inflammation in the circulatory system and perhaps in the lymphatic system as well, which makes perfect sense if she doesn't have, uh, she's got a suppressed thyroid and she's got digestive issues and she's got an autoimmune disease. So what do you do? Number one, first and foremost, we've got to work backwards to the 
digestive system. This is a gal who is screaming for digestive help, for digestive support. So first of all, look to problem foods. Get yourself a food, a, a notebook, write down everything, or have her get a notebook, write, have her write down everything she eats, and write down how she responds to specific foods within two hours after eating, four hours after eating, eight hours after eating, 12 hours, 24 hours, even up to 48 hours after she eats a meal. And she has to, she has to be able to link her bowel movement issues, and I will tell you guaranteed 100%, I'm not Mr. Psychic Man, I'm not Miss Cleo, I don't know anything, I don't have any psychic skills, but I'm telling you, this is a woman who's either constipated or has diarrhea, probably, possibly both. So she has to link her digestive symptoms to specific foods, and those foods need to be eliminated. That's the first and most important thing. If she does nothing but that, she will notice an improvement. If she does nothing but eliminate problem foods, she'll notice improvement. Secondly, she needs to be using probiotics like they're going out of style without an appendix or bacterial flora are guaranteed thrown off. Guaranteed. There's no way this, can, this woman can be healthy unless she restores her colon back to a, a bacterial health integrity, restores the bacterial uh, health, bacterial integrity of her digestive tract. That means fermented foods, uh, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, kefir, anything fermented, she should be eating lots of it, lots of fermented foods. Getting on the nightly essence or a, a good probiotic supplement will also help. Get her on apple cider vinegar and the ultimate enzymes. In fact, super important nutritional supplement next to probiotics the combination of digestive enzymes the ultimate enzymes from longevity in addition to apple cider vinegar are also extremely important along with probiotics probably the two most important things she could do for her digestive system I would also throw in and this is true for anybody who's got diabetes, type 1 or type 2. I would throw in a pancreatic enzymes, something called pancreatin. You don't have to get, get those at the health food store. Ultimate enzymes and pancreatin and apple cider vinegar with all meals. Eating less food will also go a long way towards improving her digestive, digestive uh, issues. And then liquid nutrition as much as possible. Reduce the calories, up the nutrients. That means less processed food. I'm sure she's got to be a bread person uh, and a cereal person. Most of us are. Uh, restricting her intake of these kinds of foods and fruits and fruit juices and, and uh, upping her protein intake, especially whey protein if she can handle it, and essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. Hang tight, Pam. There's tons more I want to tell you. Uh, we'll come back. We'll finish up with this phone call from Pam, Tyler, uh, Marie, John, Justin. Hang tight. We'll get to all you guys. We'll come back for a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Everyone's favorite pharmacist is coming back to Austin for the Texas Liberty Radio Fundraiser. That's right, folks. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs from the Brightside Radio Show is coming back to Austin on Friday, July 25th to give an insightful presentation. And because he packs the house, this go-round pharmacist Ben is having his event at a larger venue. That's Friday, July 25th, 7 p.m. at Houston Tillotson University, 900 Chicon Street at the King Seabrook Chapel. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. There will be door prizes, CDs, tangy tangerine, and more. For more information and to reserve Reserve your seat today. Go to TXLR.net. Suggested donation of $20 is appreciated but not required. Everyone is welcome. Free parking is available in the lot on the west side of Chalmers Avenue, one block north of 7th Street and along Chalmers Avenue. From the west entrance to the campus across from the parking lot, follow the signs to the King Seabrook Chapel and enjoy the walk. The campus is beautiful. Don't miss Pharmacist Ben at Houston Tillotson University this Friday at 7 p.m. Brought to you by your friends at Texas Liberty Radio and Brave New Books. This GCN program brought to you by Numana Storable Foods. With the launch of our new Defender Pack, we've officially changed food storage forever. Go to PowerPrepper.com right now and invest in the revolutionary Defender Pack today. That's PowerPrepper.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, like when the jeweler ruined my ring and wouldn't do anything about it. But when my Legal Shield attorney called him and told him what my rights were, I received a check for over $2,100. Worry less and live more with LSProtection.com. That's LSProtection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. Again, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. 
So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Headlines, suspensions, FCC investigations. That's Man Cow for you. Here and here, GCN. Hi, welcome back to the Bright Side. We're talking to Pam in Michigan about her sister with uh, diagnosis uh, with hypothyroidism at the age of 18, type 1 diabetes at the age of 37, and large heart. Number one, Pam, are you there, ma'am? Okay, so we want to focus on digestive wellness first. Uh, the thyroid is the third point on our triangle of disease. Hypothyroidism will only show up after long-term breakdown, typically, of the digestive system and the blood sugar system. And the fact that your sister had her appendix removed at age six uh, tells me that she's had some digestive problems pretty much her whole life. So uh, probiotics, good bacteria, fermented foods, number one. Number two, digestive enzymes, uh, the ultimate enzymes from longevity, pancreatin, which is a pancreatic enzyme along with apple cider vinegar, with meals, all the meals, all her meals, eating less food in terms of eating less calories, getting more nutrients in terms of more liquids, that is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, for example, smoothies, uh, protein smoothies, especially whey protein, which is wonderful for the digestive system. If she can't do whey protein, I have her try hemp seed protein, which is a close second, or which is second, not a close second, but second. If she can do eggs, eggs are also great. So have her do her eggs and her whey protein with her digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar, and that'll help her absorb some of the protein out of there. Uh, and then for uh, the enlarged heart, there's a couple ways you could go. Think of the enlarged heart as a, the, the musculature of the heart getting bigger in order to push things through the circulatory system, which is probably inflamed and clogged up from the digestive tract, pro, uh, digestive health issues that she's having. Uh, once she improves her digestion, that will improve uh, her enlarged heart. But in the meantime, you could give her uh, some wonderful cardiovascular nutrients like magnesium. The OsteoFX from longevity is a good source of magnesium. The amino acid arginine is very important for the heart. All the B vitamins are important for the heart, but especially B1. B3, B12, uh, folic acid is also important for the circulatory system, high doses of the B vitamins. Vitamin C may be the most important uh, vitamin for the heart. I'd be doing 5,000 to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. And then focus on restricting re refined sugars and carbohydrates, breads, pastas, cereals, potatoes, rice, uh, fruit juices, candies, cakes, pastries, all those kinds of foods, and replace them with protein and the ultimate essential uh, fatty acids and coconut oil from longevity. Doing more protein throughout the day and you doing the Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. Small amounts of protein and sipping on the BTT throughout the day will allow her to wean herself off of snack foods and carbohydrates and those kinds of things that will mess up her blood sugar. But once she strains out that digestive system with the probiotics, the enzymes, the food diary, eliminating the problem foods, she should notice that her symptoms are starting to improve, especially her circulatory systems and her thyroid health issues as well. Uh, you said you had another question, Pam? 
Yes. Um, well, one other thing. She does eat a lot of fish. Is that okay? Um, you know, unfortunately, it should be okay, but it's not because of how the oceans are. A little, you want to be a little bit careful with fish, and I hate to say that because fish can be wonderful, easy to absorb protein, uh, and, of course, good fats. Have her not cook her fish too much uh, any more than she absolutely has to because you don't want to damage those fats, and then be a little bit careful with fish, although, you know, you got to do what you got to do, and these days it's almost impossible to avoid toxicity. Uh, and fish does have some wonderful nutrients, especially protein. So I don't know about a lot of fish. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but uh, see if she can get most of her protein needs met through eggs, if she can handle those in whey protein, and then uh, supplement that with fish. That would be my recommendation. Okay, Pam? Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. God bless. And also, one last thing, iodorol, which is iodine, uh, easy to absorb iodine. That might be